Hi guys, Evil Deer here. So, I want to reference a story that happened to me probably about six months ago, and it's got relevance to my previous vlogs where I talk a lot about Esperanto. Now, a lot of Esperantists will say, have you ever just randomly in the street, you know, just bumped into an Esperantist? And it's a, it's a good question because, what, there's a hundred thousand, maybe two million of us that speak this language, so what's the chances of you just randomly bumping into an Esperantist on the side of the road? Well, guess what? It's happened to me. Now, my story begins probably about six months ago during my honeymoon with my missus in Europe. Now, we were in Switzerland and we were traveling through the mountain region into the center of Switzerland with all, the, with all those really lovely lakes, you know, the, the ones that you see on postcards types of thing. And anyway, so we're traveling along and we're just walking around these, these beautiful, fantastic lakes. And we're just going from one tourist shop to the next because my missus, she loves shopping, but not buying. She just loves window shopping. Anyway, so yeah, we're just walking around these random shops and we're out of for like hours, like literally. And I'm getting tired and hungry and I'm like, can we just go back now? You know, I've, I've seen it all. I'm over it. Yeah, I'm tired. And she's like, no, 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 please, please, please. Can we just catch that random little fairy? Just there, you know, that little fairy and just go to the other side of the lake. Please. And I'm like, oh, fine, fine. We'll just quickly catch a ferry and go see a few more things and then come back. Yeah, 40 minutes later, still on the ferry. But anyway, we got there eventually. So we arrived in this little, little like, other tourist area, whatever. I don't know what you call it. And there's shops everywhere, up and down the roads, and lots and lots of cosmetic and chocolate shops. Anyway, my missus, she's been begging me the whole trip to, to buy some cosmetics. And I'm like, no, dear God, save me. Anyway, she sees this one little cosmetic shop and she's like, ooh, I want to go in there. And I'm like, no, 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 no. It's the end of the trip. We're, we're heading back now. And she's like, no, 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 no. I'm going in. You can just wait here. And she goes in. And that's my missus. So I'm standing outside because, you know, I'm stubborn. I'm like, I'm not going in there. No, nah, ain't happening. I'm just going to stand out here and wait. 15 minutes passes, 30 minutes passes. Yeah, I'm going in now. I've got to get her out of there. So I go in and I see my missus in the back corner with a, um, a Chinese translator. See, because these tourist shops, they all have these translators. They obviously make a lot of money, but they have these translators that help the customers who don't speak, you know, like German or whatever the language was in that area. I can't remember. Sorry about that. But my missus is talking to this Chinese translator and I'm just standing. I'm just staring at her, her little translation plate that she's got sitting here. And it says... Chinese, Esperanto, like it doesn't say it, but it shows the flags, and I'm, I'm looking at that Esperanto flag real intently going, nah, nah, no way, nah, get out of here, that must be like some Middle Eastern or African flag that I haven't seen before, nah, it just, it just looks identical to the Esperanto flag, it's not Esperanto, should we put also Esperanto, and then suddenly, boom, everyone just freezes, she looks at me, I look at her, we're frozen, she understood what I just said, and my missus is sitting here going, there can't be two people who actually speak this crazy language of his. And then suddenly we're just like, woo, 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 away in Esperanto, just chatting, just talking about everything, you know, how she learned Esperanto, how I learned Esperanto, you know, random things that Esperantists do when we suddenly bump into each other, like people have been denied our natural right for our entire lives, and suddenly we've just bumped into each other. And my missus is sitting here with her cosmetics going, is someone gonna help me? And we're just chatting, we're just chatting for like ages, and then after a while my sister's like, can someone help me? And I'm, I'm still chatting, we're just, we're just random things, you know, she's inviting me over to dinner now to, to meet her husband who's an Esperanto speaker, and my missus is sitting here going, I want to go now. And <laughs> eventually it got to the point where my missus is like, I want to buy this, and then uh, finally, uh, you know, we, we brought the random cosmetics, which I was quite happy to buy now, because, you know, it worked out pretty good for me. So, we buy the cosmetics, I get a photo with this lovely young lady. Um, I won't put the photo here, but I have got it as proof. The reason being is because I don't want to put someone's face all over the internet without their permission. Um, so yeah, I got a photo with it, I got proof. Um, I even got a little picture of the little, you know, the little translation thing up there. All the other people in the shop are like, why is this guy so excited to see another translator? Like, you know, it's just a language. But yeah, we're highly excited. Anyway, so that was just my random story. I just wanted to say that it is possible to meet Esperanto out there. And now, it makes me really, really think, how many times have I just randomly walked past an Esperantist and not even realized? Like, if it wasn't for that random little translation plate that I just happened to look at because I'm interested in linguistics, that 
I noticed that she spoke Esperanto. Like, I could be walking past random Esperantists every day and I wouldn't even know it. They could be, like, just following me. I wouldn't even know it, man. Uh, anyway, just joking. Um, so, yeah, maybe we should just start walking around with these translation plates. I remember, like, back in the past, people used to get, like, these little Esperanto pins. I don't even know where you can get those anymore. But anyway, that's my story. That's over. I've gone past my time. So if you like this video and you want to see more, just share the shit out of it, you know, like it, tell me you like it, and I'll make more. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video. And if I don't, I will find you.